Hi everyone, uh, today's video is on using the scientific calculator to interpolate. Alright, now before I show you how to use the scientific calculator to interpolate, let me show you how we manually interpolate. Alright, so let's take an example here and let's say you know for a draft of a 6.40 meters the displacement denoted by the triangle here was 1 to 9 to 7 tons right and for a draft of 6.60 .60 meters the displacement was 13383 tons right now let's say i have to find the displacement for a draft of let me change the color of the pen here 6.544 meters right so i will have to interpolate for the given values to find the displacement for the draft of 6.544 that is the meaning of interpolation when you have given you are given two sets of values and you have to find a value for a number which lies between these two sets of values all right so how would I manually interpolate? So if I show you manually interpolate and then I will show you interpolation using scientific calculator, then you can make a comparison and decide how you want to go about it. All right. So how would we interpolate? So we will say for a difference of draft 6.6 .6 minus 6.4, these are the two given values to us. So what is the answer here? The answer is 0 0.20 meters. So for a difference of 0 0.20 meters, what's the difference in the displacement? So the difference in the displacement is 13383 minus 12927, right? So 13383, 13383 minus 12927, if you put that in the calculator, what do you get? You get 456, right? So for a difference of draft of 0 0.20 meters, which is 6.6 .6 minus 6.4, the difference in the displacement is 456 which is 13383 minus 12927 all right so what would be the displacement or difference in the displacement if the difference in draft is 6.544 this is the required value minus 6.4 all right 6.544 minus 6.4 is 0 0.144 right 0 0.144 meters so now i have to find what is the difference in the displacement for this so what do we do we basically and i'll change the pen again we cross multiply right so what do we get we get 0 0.144 multiplied by 456 divided by 0 0.20 meters which is equal to nothing but 456 divided by 0 0.20 328.32 so for a difference in the draft of 0 0.144 meters which is the difference between 6.544 minus 6.4 the difference in the displacement is 328.32 tons now what do i do with this value now as you can see here as the draft is increasing from 6.4 to 6.544 or to 6.6 .6, the displacement is increasing so you have to study the relationship here so as the draft is increasing the displacement is increasing correct so therefore for a draft of 6.544 the displacement should increase from 12927 by how much by add the 328.32 tons here all right so if you add the 328.32 tons here what do you get 13255.32 so for a draft of 6.544 your displacement would be 13255.32 tons now this is how we manually interpolate right now then i'll show you how we interpolate using the scientific calculator all right so even if i take another example here and uh, let me take a different kind of an example here so let's say for a draft of display for a displacement of 13383 tons the mctc or moment to change trim by one centimeter is 179.3 for a displacement of 13840 the mctc is 181.4 all right now if i ask you how would you find it for a displacement of 137 
55.3 what would be the mctc based on what i have shown you above what would you do all right so you have a go here and i'll show you the calculation right now because i want to take two examples why because uh, two examples give you gives you a better understanding of what we did so then you get two case studies to study and you see what you did and also then i will use a calculator to show you the same as well all right so let me show you that for a difference in the displacement which is 13840 minus 13383 right is 457 tons so for a displacement of for a displacement difference of 457 tons what is the difference in the uh, mctc right which is 2.1 so what is 2.1 2.1 is nothing but 181.4 minus 179.3 right so if i change the displacement by 13755.3 minus 13383 13755.3 minus 13383 what do i get you get 372.3 372.3 tons what is the change in the mctc here right and again here you can see as the displacement is increasing the mctc is increasing if the displacement was increasing but the mctc was decreasing whenever whatever value you find here in the question mark you will subtract it but here because the mctc is increasing with increasing displacement you will add that value all right so what do we have to do i'll change the pen here all right cross multiply again so it will be 372.3 multiplied by 2.1 divided by 457 tons what will it give you 2.1 so as I am teaching you guys, I am finding the values myself as well. So it's 1.71. And what do we do to, with 1.71? We'll take this value here and add to this. Right? So we are always doing it with reference to the value above us. So for a, so if I add 179.3 plus 1.71, what do we get 181 so about 181.01 or something like that so for a displacement of 13755.3 tons the mctc would be 181.01 so you can see it, the value lies between these two all right so this is how we manually interpolate now i will show you how we interpolate the same values using the scientific calculator keep watching all right so now i will show you how to interpolate using the scientific calculator i will use the same values as i used for my manual calculations and i will show you how to get the answer in the calculator scientific calculator all right so let's take the same example that probably you have a draft here for 6.4 meters for which the corresponding displacement value is 12927 and for a draft of 6.6 .6 meters the corresponding displacement value is 13383 and i have to find the displacement for 6.544 meters all right so i have to find the this corresponding displacement value so it could be anything i'm just taking two sets of examples here you could use this for any interpolation so what do you do so first what you will do is you will switch on your calculator all right so this is a one type of calculator it is casio fx 82 au plus but it's pretty much the same for different calculators you can just find the function there so first thing you will do is press uh, the mode all right then press 2 the stat mode you use the stat mode then what you will do is use the function a plus bx a plus bx this function 2 here so press 2 right then you get this x axis and y axis so on the x axis you will put these values 1 and 2 and on the y-axis you will put these values so why i say when i say these values it means if three values are on one side you will put it on the x-axis so you will put these two values on the x-axis right and if uh, the value that you have to find out the these values then you will put on the y-axis all right so this is what you have to find out so the corresponding values you will be putting these on the y-axis but uh, if you have been given all the three values on one side these are these two values is what you will put on the x-axis right let me show you 
So on the x-axis, I will put 6.4 and 6.6 .6 because these are the values for which I have to find out the corresponding display. So 6.4, I will put 6.4 here, all right, and then press equal to, then 6.6, .6, I will press equal to, all right, and then that's it. I will take it my cursor on the y-axis. On the y-axis, I will put the first displacement value, which is 1, 2, 9, 2, 7. Press equal to. All right. And then I'll put the next displacement value of 1, 3, 3, 8, 3. 1, 3, 3, 8, 3. I'll press equal to again. Once you have put all the four values. So these are the four values given to you. All right. These are the four values, original four values given to you that I have put. I have not yet put this value for which I have to find the corresponding displacement. So I have given the four values I have put here. Press AC. All right. Once you press AC, press shift, press one. When you do that, press five. Then press five again. Look for this symbol. Press five again. Whatever is your number on the calculator, but look for this symbol here. All right. So you press five again. And then now the cursor is on the other side of the symbol. So you use this and put the cursor on before the symbol. And before the symbol, now you put the value for which you have to find the corresponding displacement. So 6.544 is the value for which you have to find the corresponding displacement. Put 6.544 here and then press equal to. And what is the answer you get? 13255.32. 13255.32 tons. And this is exactly what we got for our manual calculation as well. Right? So let me show you the other example now. All right, again, in the other example. So remember now when you do all these calculations, bring it back, bring your calculator back to mode one. All right, I'll switch it off again. Now I'll show you the next example here. So now we have corresponding displacement values for MCTC values. So we have 13383 for which the MCTC is 179.3 and you have 13840 for which the MCTC is 181.4, all right? Now let's say you have to find the MCTC for a displacement of 13755.3. Alright, you have to find the MCTC value. Just the same that we did for our manual calculations. So let's start. So what did I tell you guys? For switch on your calculator. Alright, press mode, press 2. Then choose number 2, which is A plus BX here. Put the values these values here for which you have been given a middle value so i will put 13383 three, press equal to then i will put 13840 press equal to so these are the two values i have put i have not yet put the value for which i have to find out right and then i will take the cursor on the other side so next to 13383 three, is my mctc 179.3 Press equal to next to 13840 is my MCTC 181.4 181.4 press equal to again and now when I am done with this I will press AC right and then press shift press 1 get the menu again press 5 for REG right press 5 and press 5 again whatever is the symbol here press 5 and then put the cursor before the symbol and now put this value here for which you have to find out 13755.3 13755.3 and press equal to what do you get 181 181.01 and this is exactly what we got with our manual calculation as well all right so these are the two examples i showed you where you can interpolate manually or use the calculator to interpolate depending on which one you are used to, which one you find comfortable. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll keep putting up different videos which will be helpful for your learning. Bye for now.